Pakistan's military is reportedly planning to deploy nuclear-armed submarines as part of efforts to strengthen its deterrence capabilities against India. As we reported a few months ago, the Pakistan Navy unveiled its first Hangor-class submarine at a ceremony in Wuhan, China. Manufactured through a joint partnership between the China Shipbuilding Industry Corporation and Karachi Shipyard and Engineering Works. But there are now discussions on configuring these submarines to also carry nuclear missiles, potentially impacting regional stability. In today's video, we're taking a closer look at the technical specifications and strategic geopolitical impacts of the Hangor class submarines in light of these recent developments. Let's dive right in. The Hangor class submarines are a class of diesel electric attack submarines currently being manufactured for the Pakistan Navy. Derived from China's Type 039A attack submarines as an export variant, the plans for the Hangor class were publicly unveiled in 2018. These submarines are designed to execute anti-access area denial operations within Pakistan's exclusive economic zone equipped with heavyweight torpedoes and anti-ship cruising missiles. In 2015, Pakistan's Ministry of Defense placed an order for eight submarines from China, valued at four to five billion dollars, making this deal China's largest arms export contract. The initial batch of four submarines is being constructed by China, while the remaining batch will be built by Pakistan under a technology transfer agreement. In any case, these submarines are likely to increase the threat to India and could potentially destabilize regional stability. But what do we know about the Hangor-class subs? As the export variant of the Chinese-type 039A Yuan-class submarines, the Pakistani Hangor-class submarines have a displacement of 2,800 tons, increasing to 3,600 tons when submerged. They are 76 meters long, with a draft of 6.7 meters and a beam of 8.4 meters. These dimensions place them between the sizes of Russia's Project 636 and China's Song-class submarines, while being smaller than Japan's Soryu-class. Equipped with an air-independent propulsion system, these submarines can remain underwater for extended periods without needing to surface. They have a range of 6,500 nautical miles, or roughly 12,000 kilometers, and can travel at speeds of up to 20 knots. The crew consists 56 personnel. Armament includes six torpedo tubes with a diameter of 533 millimeters. These submarines can fire heavyweight torpedoes and anti-ship cruise missiles, with the capacity to launch up to four anti-ship missiles simultaneously. However, it is worth mentioning that the Hangor-class submarines do not feature a vertical launch system. They are, however, equipped to deploy the export variant of the Chinese YJ-18 anti-ship cruise missile, as well as Pakistan's own Babur-3 cruise missile, the latter being nuclear-capable. The YJ-18 export version has a range of 290 kilometers, while the Babur-3 can reach distances between 400 and 700 kilometers. As of now, it remains unclear whether any of the eight planned submarines will be fitted with nuclear-capable missiles. When it comes to the electronic systems, details for the Hangor-class submarines have not yet been disclosed, but the nation is reportedly developing its own electronic support systems, which could be integrated into the Hangor-class submarines that will be manufactured locally. This potential development remains to be seen. The delivery of the Hangor-class submarines was initially scheduled between 2025 and 2028, with one submarine expected per year. However, delays caused by financial constraints and issues with securing the MTU-396 engines from Germany have pushed the estimated delivery timeframe to the late 2030s. Due to these setbacks, the program has now transitioned to using Chinese-made SMD-2420 engines. Pakistan's Navy has long aimed to develop the capability to launch nuclear weapons from underwater, with acquiring a dedicated strategic platform as a future goal. 
Although Pakistan currently lacks the ability to design and develop nuclear-powered submarines, the Chinese-assisted Hangor-class submarines might fulfill this need. This development could also serve China's interests, as it seeks to establish its influence in the Indian Ocean and challenge India's regional dominance. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily news and analyses.